Prepositions of place. Prepositions and prepositional phrases usually tell us where things are. It tells about the location of something. Below is the list of the prepositions shows where the ball is. We can see some pictures and in the picture we can find the ball and we have to decide where the ball is. So number one it says where is the ball? We can see on, on the box. Number two, between. And we can find the ball is between the box and the bear. Number three, where is the ball? Behind the box. Here is the ball we can find behind the box. Number four, if you ask, where is the ball? It is in front of the box. Number five, and where is the ball? It is under the box. Number six, where is the ball? It is next to the box. Number seven, we can see the ball is in the box. Here is the ball in the box. Number eight, where is the ball? It is near the box. Number nine, it says the ball is above the box. The ball is not touching the box. It is just above the box. Number ten, where is the ball? And we can find this is a square. This is a square and it is in the middle of the square, in the middle. Number 11, here is the ball, this is the box, this is the box and here is the ball. So where is the ball? It, seems, it says it is on the right of the box. Number 12, and we can see the motion of the ball that it is just going over the box. It starts from maybe from here and it is just passing over the box. Completing sentences with prepositions of place. Activity 4. Complete the sentences with prepositions of place. Number 1. A man is standing. A tree. So we can find this is the man and this is the tree. So where is the man? We can say the man is under a tree. Number 2. The ball is. If you ask where is the ball? It is in the box. Number three, you can see the picture. The hand is, here is the hand and here is the cup. So where is the hand? We can say the hand is around the cup. Number four, you see in the picture that this is the deer and it is jumping over. It is jumping over the car. Number five, where is the cup? We can see this is the cup here and this is a table. So the cup is on the table. So this activity shows how to use preposition to describe any location. Building sentences with there is or there are. Use there is or there are to begin a sentence. This structure shows how to build sentences with there is or there are. We have to write first there is or there are according to the subject, the number of the subject and then what and if you want to add information about the place with prepositions. Let us see the examples and it will be clear to us how to build sentences. There is an airport near my home. An airport, it is a singular noun, so we have to use there is. And after that, what or where? So if we want to use where, it is near. This is the preposition. And near what? Near my home. The second sentence. There is a new building behind the hospital. A new building is a singular noun, so we use there is. And where? This is the preposition says behind the hospital. Now we have to use there are. Why? Because trees, two trees, it's a plural number and we have to use there are to begin a sentence. There are two trees. If you ask where, it is a preposition and in front of what? In front of my window. There are some boxes under the table. Boxes, some boxes, plural number, so we have to use there are. And where are the boxes? The preposition under says the location about the boxes and they are 
under the table. We have to remember, put there is before the singular count nouns, such as airport, an airport, hotel, a hotel, a new building. As we have seen in these sentences, the singular count nouns, and we have to start the sentence with there is. Put there are before the plural count nouns such as airports, hotels, new buildings. And we have used there are before the plural numbers in these two sentences. There are two trees. There are some boxes. Completing sentences with there is or there are. Activity 5. Complete the sentences with there is or there are. As we see in the picture, a cat, and this is a chair, so a cat is a singular noun and we have to use there is. There is a cat under the chair. Number two, we see in the picture here, apples in the basket. So some apples, plural number, and we have to use here, there are some apples in the basket. Sentence number three. A tree behind the house. So it is a singular noun, a tree, and we are going to put here, there is. Some people in the bus. Some people. People is a plural noun, and we have to put here, there are some people in the bus. Number five. A car in front of the house. A car is a singular noun, and definitely we have to write here, there is a car in front of the house. Describing a picture with ing forms of the verbs. Activity 6. Describe what they are doing. Use ing form of the verbs. These are the pictures and people are busy doing something. So if you decide the first one and we see he is cycling. It can be a name like Ahmed is cycling. The second picture we see, he is playing basketball. And we are using ing forms of the verbs to describe something is happening now. Number three, he is running. And when we use running, we have to be careful to double the consonant here. Run is the basic form of the verb, but when it is ing, and should be double here, running. Number four, what is he doing? He is using a computer. Number five, very funny pictures, and he is reading a book. The next one, he is fishing. Fish is sometimes used as noun, and also we can use fish as a verb to mean that he is catching fish. So he is fishing. And the last one, what is he doing? He is pushing a trolley. All these sentences with the ing forms of the verbs and with the be verb like am, is, or are describe something is happening now. They are, all these if we say, they are playing football. They are doing some activities. So all these things are happening now. All these activities are happening now. Describing a scene with ing forms of the verbs. Activity 7. This is a picture in an airport. And describe the scene in three sentences using ing forms of the verbs. So before describing, we have to be careful to find out what is happening there. And we have to use the ing forms of the verbs. So we can see there are many things in this picture like plane, people are carrying bags, some people are waiting for the flights as it is an airport. So the first one we can say, this is a picture of an airport. A plane is flying. Some people are carrying their luggages and there is a man sitting on the chair. All these sentences describe this picture and the activities are happening now. Some people are carrying their luggages. There is a man sitting on the chair. 
So to describe a sin in, with ing forms of the verbs, we have to be careful to describe and to decide the subjects and the nouns. If it is singular, then we should use is with the ing verbs. If it is a plural noun, then we have to use are with the ing forms of the verbs. An airport sin. And you are going to write the sentences according to your understanding. Joining two sentences using ing verb forms. ing verb forms can be used as adjectives which modify nouns. Such as in this sentence, I see a man at the shop. Another sentence, he is carrying some boxes. So if we want to join them together, we can join this way. I see a man at the shop carrying some boxes. From these two sentences, we can find that we just remove these two words. I see a man at the shop and then from carrying some boxes, carrying some boxes here. And this ing form of the verb is mentioning this man that he is doing something. What is he doing? We see in this picture that he is carrying some boxes. Here, carrying modifies the noun man. It tells us what the man is doing when I see him. This him and this the man, the same. And carrying is modifying this two noun. And carrying is modifying this noun, man. Another example. There is a man in the street. He is holding an umbrella. This is the man and he is holding an umbrella. And if we join these two sentences, the answer should be, there is a man in the street holding an umbrella. From these two sentences, I write the first sentence like this. There is a man in the street. And from the second sentence, I write this, holding an umbrella. I just delete or remove he is. Here, holding modifies the noun man. It tells us what the man is doing in the street. So holding an umbrella, if we see holding and it modifies the noun man. Understand the man is doing something and what is he doing? He is holding an umbrella. Joining sentences using ing verb forms. Activity 8. Join the sentences using ing verb forms. Number 1. There is a man in the middle. He is wearing a jacket. So if we want to write the answer, we have to write this way. There is a man in the middle wearing a jacket. We just remove these two words. I say again, there is a man in the middle wearing a jacket. This will be the answer. Number two, there are three boys in the park. They are playing football. There are three boys in the park. They are playing football. So we just remove these two words, there are, and we just write this way. There are three boys in the park playing football. Number three, behind the bus are two men. They are going into the bank. And again, I have to write the first sentence, and then I am going to write from here. Behind the bus are two men going into the bank. Number four, there is a policeman in the street. He is watching the traffic. So the answer, there is a policeman in the street watching the traffic. Number five. On the right, there is a boy. He is cycling past the restaurant. So on the right, there is a boy. What is he doing? Cycling the past, cycling past the restaurant. 